If you can come and bring some pampers for them, you can bring a a, 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 a thing of milk, some cornflakes, you can bring some cornmeal, you can bring some rice, some peas f for these people. Do not go and trouble the people on election day. And by the way, I actually heard some people concerning their family members, they are waiting for some of the agents to come on election day to touch their family members to tell them to come in and vote. There are people that are actually waiting for some of you people to come and make their grand, to play like you come in at their home to ask their grandmother to come and vote or their grandfather to come and vote. There are people that are actually waiting for you all. It is only during election time, for the most part, people see the value of the older people that we have. Like, I want you to check it out yourself. On election day, just walk around and move around and see. And you'll realize that there are people, old people that you would, you would not have seen for years. Some of these people coming out, you're wondering if those, where, who are these people? And where were those people? And sometimes you will say, you thought those people were dead already. Because it is only when election comes that we know these people. People do not really check out for those people. Um, the election people, the agents and the agents for the different parties, political parties, they come and it's almost like they're resurrecting the dead because some of those people that they take to vote I'm seen as if these people should be left at their homes and not being convenient to go through that um, that stress of leaving their homes and go and vote. The thing is, if it is that we're going to make those people go and vote on election day, we need to remember them during the other um, times, during the other days. Because the same political party who will encourage you or you are working for to get those people out to vote, these old people and some of them are sick and weak, you go and get them to vote, but then you cannot remember to tell your politician friends to give you some pampers for those people. Some of the, a lot of the fruits that we enjoy now, the mangoes, the coconuts, and all of those things that we sell by the market, it was the people before who planted those things. So basically, we are really enjoying the benefits of a lot of the work that were done by the older people. Yes, people, people. One more time, this is Tropical People and Places TV. So what you see there in this picture is a, a, a photo of Castries, um, some area around the boulevard area. And we can see that, um, you know, activities look like um, things getting warmer. Things are not how they used to be before, but they're getting better um, compared to how it was in that um, at the peak of the virus thing. So what I really want to show you there is... Um, we have basically a uh, young population moving around and generally St. Lucia is really uh, a population of relatively young people in St. Lucia for the most part. And so what we have is a situation where we unfortunately tend to forget about the older people that we have um, in, in the country. And so we need to remember that the foundation of St. Lucia, the foundation that we enjoy now, that we have built upon, is a product of the work of the older people. The roads that were cut before were cut by uh, men who were um, operating like equipment in very um, rough terrain in, in dangerous areas. Some of these operators who cut these original roads that we have there, they were operating in places where a lot of modern uh, op people nowadays would not operate um, equipment in those places. Some of these people were operating in almost areas where you had precipice. So a lot of work was done that we are enjoying now. Even in the area of um, farming and agriculture, the foundation of the, um, the, the, the farming that we enjoy right now, even the, some of the trees that we have as um, windbreaks, these things were planted by the people um, a long time ago. Some of a lot of the fruits that we enjoy now, the mangoes, the coconuts, and all of those things that we sell by the market, it was the people before who planted those things. So basically, we are really enjoying the benefits of a lot of the work that were done by the older people. But what do we give those people in return? I just find that, and a lot of us, we tend to um 
neglect the older people, their needs, and their wants sometimes. And it is only during election time, for the most part, people see the value of the older people that we have. Like, I want you to check it out yourself. On election day, just walk around and move around and see. And you'll realize that there are people, old people, that you would, you would not have seen for years. Because it is only when election comes that we know these people. Like, I've been observing some people and I'm seeing, like, where were those people all along? It's like I didn't even know that those people were still alive or these people were still around the place. And people do not really check out for those people. Um, the election people, the agents and the agents for the different parties, political parties, they come and it's almost like they're resurrecting the dead because some of those people that they take to vote, I'm seeing as if these people should be left at their homes and not be inconvenient to go through that, um, that stress of leaving their homes and go and vote. The thing is, if it is that we're going to make those people go and vote on election day, we need to remember them during the other um, times, during the other days. Because the same political party who will encourage you or you are working for to get those people out to vote, these old people and some of them are sick and weak, you go and get them to vote, but then you cannot remember to tell your politician friends to give you some pampers for those people. Some of the people coming and voting pampers, we have to do better than that. We cannot be neglecting our own, our own people, our old people. And all of us are guilty of that. And then on election day, to discover a new value for those people. The only value that our old people have to some of us is on election day. And that thing has to stop. That is really the height of exploitation. You go and wake people out from their sleep, from their comfort zone. Some of the people are weak. Some of the people you can see like it is so hard for them to actually enter the vehicles that you want to put them in. And then, after they, after they put the cross, you drop them at their home and you never remember them again. People, we can do better than that as a people. The young people need to remember the old people because one of these days, there's a, a, a chance that you can end up in that situation. Although these days, the way the trend is, it looks like many people are not going to reach that old because of lifestyle choices. But people, honestly, we need to do better as it relates to these older people. If you can come and bring some pampers for them, you can bring a, 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 a thing of milk, some cornflakes, you can bring some cornmeal, you can bring some rice, some peas f for these people, do not go and trouble the people on election day. And by the way, I actually heard some people concerning their family members, they are waiting for some of the agents to come on election day to touch their family members to tell them they come in and vote. There are people that are actually waiting for some of you people to come and make their grand, to play like you come in at their home to ask their grandmother to come and vote or their grandfather to come and vote. There are people that are actually waiting for you all because you all came and you all did that last elections and you all never went back and checked them old people. And so the family are waiting for some of you people. We need to be better than that, people. Keep the fire burning.